Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and I'm very, very excited because I finally got my hands on an Energy Flex prototype so I can show you guys and test it out a little bit uh, before they start rolling out all the production orders here. So I'm really excited about that. What we're going to do today is I'm going to try and run my entire cabin here off of the Energy Flex and that's going to be a really cool way to show you guys how much stuff you can actually run with this guy. Um, before we get to that, this isn't a whole backup generator system for a house. It's not really designed that way. It's meant to be portable and run tons of devices like all of these. And uh, while you're camping or if you have a power outage, it's very capable and will run a lot of stuff. It's not necessarily designed to be hooked into a house directly at the circuit breaker uh, like I'm doing today, but my house is very small. It's all LED lighting and my circuit, my, uh, circuit breaker box is actually set up special for this test so it's not designed for that but this will be a really fun way to kind of test out its limits and show you exactly what it's capable of so without further ado why don't we get into checking this out it's a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter uh, with batteries that you can remove and change out and add as many as you want uh, up to 96 extra batteries it takes an incredible amount of solar, um, pretty much as much as you want to add using MPPT supercharger units so you can clip onto the bottom of it. And by itself, it takes, I think, about 400 watts with an MPPT charge controller. So it's very impressive. So I'm very excited. Why don't we get to the house and show you exactly how much stuff this can run? Also, uh, this house was being reclaimed by the world when we bought it and it's a work in progress. So I'm gonna give you a tour anyway. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Okay, everybody, I wanted to show you something really cool. So outside I have all these bistro lights, 65 in total. They are all LEDs and they light up my entire yard really nicely and they're run off the house, which is being powered entirely by the Energy Flex right now. So I'm gonna give you a little tour and show you all the things that I have powering the entire house. So we have these 65 Bistro lights, and now let's step inside. Come on, Storm. Come on. So now we have all of this stuff running off the Energy Flex, which is located right over there. And this is a ton of stuff, you guys, and I'm gonna give you an idea of exactly how many things I have running entirely off the Energy Flex right now. So. Why don't we walk around to the entertainment center real quick first. And what we have going on here is a 60 inch flat screen TV. It is hooked up to the internet and it is playing music through my receiver, which has an equalizer and also a 750 watt amplifier for the Bose 901 speakers that I have up in the corners. Now I also have my router going. There's a fire stick that's providing the internet for the TV so we can watch Netflix or whatever. And everything is plugged in, so if I want to play Nintendo Switch or PS4 or any of that, that's all working. It also has two subwoofers down below that we're listening to, but I'm going to go ahead and turn the music down now. So all you hear is me. You have this clock thermometer on the wall as well, and as we enter the room of plants, you can see we have a lamp there, a light bulb up top. Every outlet is energized in my entire house. You can notice the, uh, the night light down below and also back here behind the plant. And as we walk through the hall of plants here, you can see we have a 65 watt LED grow lamp for our tomato seeds and stuff like that. We also have two weird fire light LEDs, a lava lamp, and you even have stuff like this. This is a small tablet that I hooked up to control my smart devices. There are a lot of smart devices in this house. So for instance, I can just tap this, the cabinet of curiosities, and that will turn off the uh, cabinet light there. Just like that, and we'll turn that back on. So all my smart devices are working, my internet is working, even all of my Alexas are working, of which I have about five of them, and to demonstrate, uh, we'll do this, computer, living room lights, 60%. See, so you can brighten those up. Computer, living room lights, 50%. So all of my Alexas are working just fine. And the way this basically works is this is going out the window in an extension cord. Outside of the house, I do have an emergency generator backup system. So I have a transfer switch and a place to plug in this extension cord. And you can see that goes right to the Energy Flex. And I have this phone set up, so I'm gonna put that watt meter up for you so you can actually see what's going on there. We're drawing 700 watts right now. 
which is significant. Um, also, everything is plugged in. So like my RoboVac is in, it's not charging right now, but you also have this little lamp right here. You also have LEDs underneath the bar. And we're gonna go into the kitchen right now. And you'll notice that my electric, or this is a gas range, but the electric igniters all work as well as the timer and everything else. And then if we go to the refrigerator, you'll notice that it has power. And if we wanted to get ice or anything like that, and then we could get some water too. Okay. Now I want to give you an idea of how many light bulbs are actually running right now. And it's pretty crazy. So each one of these LED light fixtures up top are LEDs, but they have eight bulbs in each fixture. So that's eight. That's 16. There's another one in the kitchen for 24. And the ones in the hallway have six. So that's 30 bulbs right there. Now when you count all the little LED things and the lamps, the other light bulbs that I showed you in the other room, that's 10. So that knocks it up to 40 bulbs right there. But then, if you remember all the LED bistro lights outside, there's 65 of those for a grand total of 105 LED lights going on right now, which is really, really crazy. I also have my laptop set up and charging, which has internet and everything else. So the house is really running like normal. Um, I really have a lot of power going on everywhere, and it's just fantastic peace of mind to know that you could do something like this in the event of a uh, power outage. Now I'm going to turn off the LED lights outside the bistro lights, just so you guys can actually watch the power drop on the power meter. So I'm going to turn those off for us. And you probably saw that power meter drop down a little bit as I turned off all those 65 bistro lights. So this is just incredibly cool that it's coming out of the flex right now. The fans are running. And they actually just turned off because it killed the bistro lights. So you can have this inside. It's not producing fumes. It's really quiet. It can't be stolen. And you can power all of these devices. And it's a pure sine wave inverter, so I'm not at all worried about it powering my laptop or my TV and other sensitive electronics, which I think is pretty cool. And um, just to take a peek here, we're at about 650 watts, 620 somewhere in there about 650 watts what I'm gonna do is we're gonna try and really push this over the top here and we're gonna see if I can run the water pump that pressurizes my entire house downstairs and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my girlfriend uh, turn on the shower and flush the toilet go ahead babe and we're gonna see exactly what happens because this is really gonna push a lot of power it might just kill the lights altogether we'll see Oh, there it goes. I'm showing 1400 watts. And that's going to climb up as it starts to build up water pressure. So we're at 1500 watts right now. And it's still running everything. There was a little light flicker as the pump kicked on, but it's holding its own. 17, 1800 watts. Oh, come on, 1900 watts. Hold together, baby. It got up to 1,900 watts on us. Is it done? Nope, still 15, 1,600 watts. It did it. The pump has cycled off. We have water. Turn everything off, please, babe. If it's not already. <laughs> Thank you. So it actually, we just pushed it well over the max there while running all of my sensitive, you know, sensitive electronics and LEDs and everything else which is just really incredible in my opinion. So now as a bonus, just to totally prove to you guys that everything in my house is running off this guy, I am going to turn it off. So here we go. And now the only things on are things that have internal batteries like my laptop. See the Nintendo Switch down there has a battery in it. Also on the wall, that little uh, tablet. And as we go around looking at the kitchen, you can't see my kitchen, 
because everything is off. Absolutely everything. It just killed power to the entire house. And I think that's very cool. And my dog is scared now. So we're going to turn that back on. And we have power again. So how cool is that? So I think that was incredibly cool. I love that it can run all that stuff. And when I did the water pump downstairs, I really thought it was gonna just turn off everything because we got up to almost 1,900, 2,000 watts and it's a 1,500 watt inverter. So it did very, very well in that regard. Um, I've been very happy with it so far. If you'd like to check out the review video, we're actually go over some more technical specs and show you um, different experiments where it's running all of these devices right here. Just click the card up top and that will take you over to that quick little review. Of course, there are more modules to this, this system. There's an AC version, a DC version with just DC plugs without the 1500 watt inverter for van lifers and things like that. Um, I'm gonna be getting solar panels and batteries in the MPPT supercharger. So stay tuned for all that. I'll be doing a full review once I get the production model of all this stuff. This was just a prototype, but the build quality looks awesome so far. And I've just been playing with it for about a week. And I have to say that I'm absolutely loving it so far. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, again, if you want this guy, the link down below will get you the absolute best deal on the internet. And that really helps me out as well. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And until the next video, happy camping.